Why pieces need much more RAM than video game consoles to run the same games? It seems strange to me that every 7th generation console has much less memory than contemporary pieces, but games on console still run pretty smooth today. For example, PS3 has 256 MB memory for system and 256 MB memory for video. Xbox 360 has 512 MB of GDDR3 RAM clocked at 700 MHz. And, this is really strange, we has only 24 MB of video RAM and 64 MB GDDR3 system RAM. But if you try to run GTA 4 on the PC with 256 MB of system RAM, even with 256 MB RAM on the video card, well, let's just say it won't work that way. Why? Let's do some comparisons. PS3 has 256 MB memory for system and 256 MB memory for video. Xbox 360 has 512 MB of GDDR3 RAM clocked at 700 MHz. And, this is really strange, we has only 24 MB of video RAM and 64 MB GDDR3 system RAM. Graphics on Wii games are usually kept simple, you won't see shiny graphics there apart from the nice intro to Mario and Amp, Sonic's introduction screen. Although that's just a video playing back, sheep. If you don't believe me, this comparison shows it clearly. A visual comparison of Modern Warfare's Wii debut in the original. It doesn't seem easy to find other clear comparisons, the image search results are overloaded with results of the same game, the Wii U or picture's too small to tell the difference, you are always welcome to add another picture, but the Wii game console has yet to surprise me. For the PS3 vs Xbox 360, you clearly see a difference in texture. Developers speaking out on the PS3. As for Xbox 360 versus PC, the difference lies in the resolution, textures and more. Risen releases February on 360, will be proper port. Is it all about the memory? No, certainly not. How fast the coup can perform in terms of fill rate and shading also plays a huge role, this is why the Xbox 360 outperforms the PS3, as they have the same amount of memory. All those factors involved in the specifications contribute to being able to do effects like bloom, drawing things further in the distance, do better bump mapping and lightning, having even better AA more. Sometimes this takes a second look at the photo to actually see the difference, most often you can't always tell this due to compression of the picture, or YouTube video, such that it doesn't represent the actual graphics in the game. Similarly, you can get a PC with a ton of memory, but have a card that can't even play a game at 720p. It's about how much you can put into it for the price. Let's say price wouldn't matter, well, we'd have something like the faster too. That's right, we're looking at 6 NVIDIA GTX 295 dual coup cards, and 1 GTX 275 single coup card. That's 13 this total. That's why it outperforms a typical coup 12 times. Although, well, yeah, this setup requires some software, driver optimization to suffice for gaming. To address the question, do pieces need much more RAM? Not necessarily, one could build a machine with a lightweight Linux kernel, 
Lightweight X and perhaps Wine as well, unless the game has native support, as a result you'll end up with barely any space taken by the Linux kernel and most space available to the game, then, you get the hardware with the same memory limits as the console, turn down the game graphics and actually have PS3, Xbox 360-like graphics. I have no clue whether the Wii specs could be achieved, but most games on the Wii aren't available for computer architectures anyway, ignoring emulation. The PC itself doesn't impose more memory, it's what the environment your game runs in does. It's because PCs and consoles are built differently. A PC is not built for dedicated gaming so it has a larger and more functional operating system. You can multitask with a computer, attach several more monitors and you will find that top-notch computers easily perform better than a console. Consoles on the other hand are built entirely for gaming, the operating system it runs on does not need a large amount of memory like Windows as it has no proper functionality, that's why they have much less memory. Multiple monitor. With consoles, you cannot add multiple monitors because of memory and hardware constraints. You can do so on a PC however. There are several reasons for this. Console games today are typically written to make the most of the limited hardware the console provides. This means that the game must operate within strict memory limits. For PS4, that's 8GB of GDDR5 shared between the CPU and CU. Pieces are not subject to this limitation as they may be equipped with far more memory, as well as more powerful PUS and CUS, so games can be designed to utilize more resources. As a result, most cross-platform games tend to look better on a well-equipped gaming PC than on a console. PCs generally have a larger background operating system which may have other applications running, so more physical memory will naturally be necessary. While modern consoles do have fairly sophisticated operating systems, they too are designed to operate within strict resource constraints so that the game always has a certain amount of memory, CPU power, etc. available to it. Console hardware is homogeneous from unit to unit, so they can optimize for the specific hardware characteristics, which can reduce resource usage. Pieces, on the other hand, do not have fixed hardware, so the same low-level optimizations are not always possible. This can increase memory and other resource usage on PC. Furthermore, depending on the PC hardware used, it may take varying amounts of resources to achieve the same graphical output. Because your OS remains loaded plus all the background processes, network management, virus scan, firewall, and other programs, and Skype, TeamSpeak, browser, this will all take up memory while the console games can take up all memory available and manage it to their own pleasure, as the OS unloads for the most part or even fully for the previous gen consoles, which PC games cannot fully, the only memory for PC games being virtual page memory. <laughs>